All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to talk about sign in, sign up functionality. But as you can see on my screen, these are the videos. And uh, in my last two videos about Node and Express, I actually created about the forget reset password and the email account activation. Email account activation video actually includes the sign up functionality. Once the user sign up and verify his email account, and once he verifies his, his email account, he can sign up and the new user gets created in the database. Then I created a video about the forget reset password. So actually I wanted to create a video on login with Google, login with Facebook, but before that I just wanted to show you that how we can simply write a function to sign in or log in user uh, using the Node and Express. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the same boilerplate so this is the server, this is the route that I already created, and this is the DB, this is the user model, simple user model. I'm not using any B -crypt encryption because that's a different topic. I just want to focus on the specific topics. And this is the controller that contains the functions for sign up, email account activation, forget password, email send, and the reset password once the user click on the tokenization email that he received. Okay, so in the same controller, I'm going to be writing a function on uh, actually logged in user. Okay, so I will be using Postman to test these APIs. Okay, let me just bring it a bit closer. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to create a new function inside this file. And if I show you this thing, so my DB connection is running, uh, DB connection established, all right? So, okay, first of all, I'm gonna go and open up the routes and inside it, I need to create a new route inside it, okay? So I'm just going to copy this thing, paste it, and I'm going to write sign in, okay? And after that, I need to create a function in the controller and I'm going to name it sign in. It doesn't exist yet. So I'm just going to create it as of now. If I show you the terminal, it should show us uh, the error, okay? So now let's come back here and I'm going to create a function. Okay, it has been created. Now let's go and uh, restart the server. npm run start, and this is the package.json file. These are the packages that I have installed, and uh, this is the command that gets run when we run the DB. Okay, so our DB connection has been established on port 8000. All right, okay, let's come back to the controller, and inside it, I'm going to actually so once the user sign in, uh, what we're going to send from the client side or from the postman, we're going to send the email and password only, okay? So I'm going to receive it from request.body. So email, password, from request.body, okay? And now I'm going to check if this user exists in the database because before signing in, user should be activating his account and the user should be existing in the database. So I need to check if user.find1 email, so execute, error and user. Okay, now I need to check if the user exists or not. So let me just copy this code. Uh, if there is an error, if user does not exist, then uh, I'm going to send a message. This user does not exist. Sign up first, okay? So if there is no error, means the user exists, okay? So before we can sign in or log in, uh, what we can do is we can actually check if the password that user has sent from the client side actually match the password stored in the database, okay? So how we can do it? So as I have said that I'm not using any kind of encryption decryption, it's just the string being stored in the database. If I show you the database, this is the uh, Robomongo. So this is the user that have already created and activated the account. This is the password, A, B, C, D, one, two, and this is the email ID, okay? So now I need to check if user that we have received from the database, user.password, 
does not match the password that the client has sent okay so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to return the error so email or password does not match email or password incorrect okay all right and now i need to return a response it means on this position user exists and the user and password actually matches what the client has sent so what we need to do is we can actually send the token and the user data to the client side whoever is trying to sign in and uh, using that token user can store on the client side in the local storage or cookie uh, the user can store the token or the user data so once the user actually authorize the other models other pages using that same token uh, user on the client side actually verify that the user is already signed in or not okay so i need to generate a token so token equals to so jwt dot sign let me just copy it from above uh just copy this line you can just pause this video and just paste it okay all right so i am creating the token using the user id only just remove the name okay and uh, it expires in so user if user is logged in from the client side on a website for how many days user should be logged in and it how after how many days user should be logged out automatically i want this thing to be expired after 7 days okay so yeah and this is a token but this jwt reset password is a key that i used for resetting the password i don't want to use it i want to have a separate key for actually secret key for maintaining the logged in user or logged out user okay so let me just remove it and i'm going to change it to jwt uh, sign in key okay so let me just copy it env file and i'm going to paste it equals to my personal key 1 2 3 4 okay you can write anything let's come back okay now our token has been generated now we need to return the response with the user data okay but we don't want to return the password and other details of the user to the client side so i need to destruct few properties from the user from the database okay so cons i can return the id i can return the name and the email okay so this is from the user so now i can write response to json and it's going to give me the token and i'm going to send the user and user is going to contain the id name and email all right so that's pretty much it okay i'm going to test it from the postman so let's see this is the email and password that i have already added in the postman okay so this is the request that i have already created this is the api/sign in so you can see if i go to the server this is the default route and uh, i'm going to go to the auth api/sign in okay so i'm pretty sure it's going to work let's see if it works or not so this is the sign in and it works okay so make sure uh, but it should automatically be loaded but just in case i'm just restarting the server okay it's working on 8000 okay so if you don't know this url is coming from uh, this collection go to added variables this is where i have added this variable i'm using the url within the double curly braces okay so over here i have added these headers and i have added this body with the email and password these are the correct credentials let me just uh, change the password to see if i get any kind of error okay send email or password incorrect okay so this is coming from here it means user existing in the database user was existing in the database but there was a problem with the password match okay so it's working fine let me just go and see uh, what's the correct password i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to paste it and i'm going to send 
and now you can see it has returned me the data user data and the token okay and these data we can use on the front end to store it in the local storage to check if the user is logged in or not uh, and stuff like that okay so this is how you can implement the sign in functionality after sign up resetting forgetting password email account verification check out my videos i'm going to give the link of the two videos forget reset password and uh, the where is it email account activation okay so i'm going to give the link of this uh, video check check it out first okay so in the next videos i'm going to be working on login with uh, google and login with facebook and for that i'm going to be using a little bit front end maybe i'll use uh, react or maybe angular or maybe vanilla javascript and i'm going to be using same boilerplate uh, for actually implementing uh, the login with google and facebook so if you have liked my video make sure you subscribe my channel hit the like button and comment below if you have any questions